A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, Saturday night. Nothing gets past me. Nine o'clock, as I say, nothing gets past me. And, of course, it's the 19th of March, 2022, and the start of the Internet phone-in. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations across the globe. Lots and lots to talk about tonight. So little time to do it in, so get to your telephones as soon as possible, and let's hear from you. We're just letting everybody know that we are live. This is Big Style, and of course, you can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 at any time that you're watching Scotty McClure live, either on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook Live, or of course, on the wonderful TikTok. There we are. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty, says Leggett. Hello, Leggett. Welcome, 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 I say to you. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky-do. And, uh, of course, uh, my brother, yes, indeed, Andrew Pixel, dinky-do. How are you doing, Scotty? Fantastic, real Justin. Just great to have you with us, and dinky-do. You're a legend, Leggett. So are you. It's interesting. You know, a legend used to be somebody that could pull a sword out of a stone, now you're a legend if you turn up with extra jumbo packets of crisps and pizza. Hello from Glasgow in Paisley. No, 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 no. Paisley is nothing to do with Glasgow. You need to understand that you're in Paisley, which is part of Renfrew Shire. Yes, wonderful. Great old stuff. There we go. Renfrew, I think, is a royal borough, isn't it? But somebody corrected me one night and said Paisley's not a royal borough. I was rather surprised at that. Uh, breaking news, Scotty, Numpty Heed's no been in the pash. Excellent, Numpty Heed. That is breaking news. Hello, buddy, uh, Martin and Emma Lala. There we are. I thought you were talking French to be going, ah, la. There we are, Scotty, the legend. Dinky do, fantastic stuff. How do you pronounce Worcestershire? I think just Worcestershire. Hi, Scotty. What does Dinky Doo mean? Is it a Scottish thing? No, no, James. Dinky Doo is Scotty McClue's catchphrase, world wide. And it means it's all well with you and the world. Are you Dinky Doo? There we are. Oh, we're Dinky Doo, absolutely. Hello, says VJ. Dinky Doo, hello, Scotty. One and all, Karim. How lovely to have you with us. Let's open the phone lines and see if we can get everybody coming on for a wee chit chat. That would be rather nice, wouldn't it? Fantastic stuff. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Scotty Legend, Dinky Doo. Hey, Sailor, Dinky Doo. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Dinky Doo. Ah, Kareem Dinky Doo. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Don Toi, Don Toi is a sailor. All right. And there's somebody asking, large, large underscore fellow says, where were you born? Well, I wasn't born, large underscore fellow. I was knitted by my grandmother, and we think she dropped a couple of stitches. Now then, Kareem, how are we tonight, sir? Not too bad. Absolutely beautiful day today. Oh, Kareem, was it not just stunningly outstanding? Absolutely, Scott. Stun stunning. And did that not make you feel better, even with everything you've been through? Lovely, and, and hopefully the same tomorrow. I think it is to be, and I'll take the dogs a good walk. Fantastic. Um, but I just hope everybody's well and safe. Who's listening, Martin and Susan and Suzanne and everybody, yes. and enjoying the Saturday night. Yes, absolutely. And we've got hiya, Scotty. How do we ring in for a chin wag? Rogo, you will see it across the bottom of the YouTube channel. Hey, Scotty, long time no speak, love, Sharon and Billy. Good evening, Scotty, from yeah. Colin. And did the McClure enthusiast who called in to mention tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life? Absolutely, yeah. VJ. That's a big McClueism, that tomorrow is the first day of the rest of your life. I'm getting here. Wick is a royal borough. Uh, you have been about, Scotty. Are you watching the rugby? No, I had to, I had to stop watching the rugby because it was upsetting me. Ireland were thrashing Scotland too much. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. I went on a lovely drive last night, uh, late last night, Scotty, and I went down to Gurek. Ah. 
and to my old stamping ground. Yes, see at night time the clear sky and mm. just looking at all the when, when you're passing uh, what you call it Port Glasgow and then yes. uh, you know, yes. and you can see the just up in the hill with all the lights and the flats. It was just it was it was and then the water it was just so different from obviously what you see in the inner city or suburbs. Or well it's know. very, very beautiful. I mean I was brought up there, you know what I mean? And then I started moving around the UK. <sighs> Um, but um, I, I really, really miss it, and I love the people, of course. And you know, you can't, you can't, you can take the boy out of Greenock, but you won't take Greenock out of the boy. No, you know. <laughs> and and it's so lovely. I walk along the Esplanade, Kareem, or up the Lyle Hill, and you'll see a very, very famous view. Now, during World War Two, that was absolutely packed with shipping. You see, what people don't realize, Karim, is Glasgow was stowed out with ships. There were busy, busy tugs all the time. And the sides of the bank, a lot of it's been filled in now. But you had all these docks, the George V dock and the Brumer Law and, and all that stuff. And right into the city, you could get steamships. So you would just walk along from the central station to uh, either the Brumalaw or Bridge Wharf. The Brumalaw was on the same side as the central station. Bridge Wharf was across the bridge. And you could just get a steamer for Guruk, Rothsey, Tinnabrua, Hinellen, Ardrishig, Danun, you know, all that. Yes. I gave you all that in the wrong order. It actually went Guruk, Danun, Inellen, Rothsey, Tinnabrua, Tarbot, our <laughs> Right. Uh, well, it was um, when you look at, when is it, Port Glasgow, when you're talking about all the ports, when yes. you've got the sports centre down there, football complex, or yes. to the left of it, not to be mistaken with Motherwell, but Ravens Craig Park down yes. the water. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and and the, the port there, and you can see all the, the wood that's still been left over, and it's just, it's, it's, it's a, a, a bit of history, it's a shame that it's got to that. Well, that was, that was known as um, Coronation Park in at Port Glasgow itself, just opposite the old town hall, that looks like a big right. church. Uh -huh. Right, right. You know, um, and then you had where the shopping centre is now, that was the shipyards. Yes. And as you okay. drove along, you had Scots, and then you had Lithgows, and they, of course, uh -huh. amalgamated into Scott Lithgow. Okay. And then I think became part of British shipbuilders latterly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have always said to you, Scotty, that I just think, um, and it comes back to what we usually talk about every once in a while about independence. Yes. That we have the infrastructure, we have the foundations, we just need the finance. And well, I was listening to the Conservatives going, now is not the time. Now, my answer to that would be, now is always the time. Any time is a good time for independence for Scotland. Correct. You yes. know, any well, time at all. You see what I mean? We could have said that about Brexit. Brexit's not, this is not the time. Yes, you should have, we should have all said to Boris, look, it's not the time. It's not the time to be leaving Europe, you know? Now, I, I've said this to you before, and the people on, on social media, and I always get my hand bitten off for this, but if somebody trying to lecture me, because I've, I've said to you before that mm -hmm. Scotland's not voted Conservative since 1955. That's right. I said, no, you haven't directly voted Conservative yep. or Tory. But in 2014, you voted to be you voted to be part of a Tory Britain. Sixty Tory is that what's that? Sixty-seven years. Have uh, I, am yeah. I right? Around about that sort of yes. Yeah. Yes. So 60, 67 yeah. years since Scotland last wanted a Tory government, and it's kind of had one virtually ever since, with a couple of exceptions, two or three exceptions. Well. As I've always said, and people keep coming back dismissing me, I said in 2014, you have voted 
to be part of a Tory Britain. So you might not directly vote Conservative, but you voted to be part of a Tory Britain. Yes. Uh, a Tory government, Tory austerity. That's what you voted to be a part of. Yes. You know, and, and, and you've had austerity, you've had Brexit, you've had the, um, the pandemic. Not that that can all be blamed on the government, but they're... Handling could well be criticised. And uh, the, the Brexit, of course, all of it is suiting the elites. All of it. Correct. Nothing yes. is suiting the people. Look at that P&O set up the other day. Now, Peninsula Correct. and Orient Shipping, that's an old Correct. Scottish company. Correct. Yes, now it's uh, it's owned abroad, you know. But, I mean, that was, uh, you know, that was an old Scottish company like British India. You see? I'm, I'm sure, I'm hopefully, we won't go into it, but legally I think that the poor people will have a very good chance to, to claim money back, the yeah. 100 people that have lost their jobs. I hope so. I hope so. But if we become completely powerless and de-unionized, we will just become serfs. And people will be saying, look, we can't offer you any kind of contract and we can't offer you much money, but would you come and work with us? <laughs> And then people are going to get driven into that kind of market. And you're back to where you were uh, at, at the start of the 1900s. Yes. Yeah. I mean, these yes. things were all the triggers for the First World War internationally. Yes, of course, the murder in Sarajevo of the Grand Duke Franz Ferdinand was the tinderbox. And, you know, that was, that was the one. But the conditions were getting dreadful from about, oh, 1908, 1910. Right, right. You know, I mean, really, really dreadful. You know, you had too big a gap between the haves and the have-nots. And once that gap gets too wide, that's when you've got problems. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Well, uh, I think, Scott, I mean, you know, in a matter of two weeks' time, as you know, with the energy crisis, that's going to hit a lot of people. And I think I've said to you this before the other week, that when we, when we looked at the start of the, the pandemic, people didn't, I don't think people took it serious mm -hmm. until it really actually started to hit. People will think, oh, we need to stay in, oh, we can't do X, Y, and Z. And I think it's the same for a lot of people. I don't think they realise what's around the corner with what's going to hit them in April onwards. And Britain and the UK, Scotland, as we know it just now, Scotty, there is going to be... Backwards instead of forwards. Well, we are going backwards, and I mean, we've got coal, we've got oil, we've got gas, we've got wind power, we've got hydroelectric. Now, I thought today, I wonder what the hydroelectric people are going to do about putting up bills because they get their electricity from water power. And apparently yeah. it's quite expensive. I've got friends that live in the country and pay through the nose for hydroelectricity. Now, it was supposed to be almost free when it came in. Right. So somebody's right. calculations have gone wrong, and they always seem to go wrong the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, you say, oh, sorry, we missed God. We thought you might have to pay a £1,000. You're only going to have to pay £100. No. It doesn't go that way. You thought you were yeah. going to pay a hundred pounds. I'm afraid it's going to be a thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if, if you look at this energy crisis, if you look at Europe, although they are getting hit with it as well for other economic reasons, a lot of the governments are supporting the the people in those countries a lot more compared to our own UK government. I mean, yeah. you know the two hundred pounds that we've been given that we need to owe back. Yeah. Like a lot of, like if you look at France, they've given their people two hundred pounds. They don't need to pay it back, and that's just for this quarter through the winter months. So, Karim, uh, I think I've said to you before, but in the nineteen thirties, uh, uh -huh. British cruise liners didn't call in to Germany. So the British workers didn't see how well off the German workers were. Mm -hmm. Now, though it all got smashed up by the inflation and then the Nazis and all that sort of thing, Germany to this day, I think our pensions are around, it's around about eight, 9,000 quid, our old age pension. <coughs> you know, now... Not the best, not the best in the world. Well, Germany's, I think, about 20,000. You know, yeah. so there's another 10, 11 grand in it, you know? 
That that makes a difference if you're elderly and you're trying to get by. Well, with this increase that's happening as well, I mean, you put a point there, Scott, a good point. The elderly, you know, like their, their pension's not going up. You know, that they're getting sucked out of more money and they're going to have to, to make a decision at win yeah. this winter. Do I feed myself or do I keep my room? Yeah. You know, um, and it's, 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 I think it's a lot to do with greed as well. If you look at petrol today, £1.66 I managed to, I paid for today. Yeah. Um, and I know there's a lot higher than other petrol stations now. That's, that's never, never seen that before. No. It's absolute scandal. No, it's just crazy stuff. I mean, I could go back, you'll laugh at this, half a crown a gallon. <laughs> yeah, right. That was 12 and a half P. And when I started right. driving, I think it was 33p a gallon. And I can remember right. my dear neighbor, who sadly has just passed away, but I remember him right. saying, I just put a pound's worth in now. I don't bother. <laughs> right. Well, the funny thing is, like, somebody said the other day, and this, is, this shows you the intellect of people, that they said, oh, see this rate, uh, uh, the, 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 the raising the costs of living, it's not affecting me. I'll, I'll still just, I'll still, I can still put 20 pounds into my car, I can still fill it up with 20 pounds. It doesn't quite work like that. It doesn't work that way. What I've been doing is cutting back on five litres, so I'm paying the same amount. <laughs> I'll just have to end up filling it up later, you know? <laughs> but, no, Scott, I just thought that was just some of the things that's been on. Fantastic, the Kareem. No, and lovely to hear you as always, and we will catch up soon. Have a great week, Scott. And you, have sir, get day. strong. Strong and well, dinky doola. Bye -bye. See ya. There's our Kareem. Always on with a good bit of common sense. Now, lots of reaction from you. Uh, Mr. Kirkwood, I used to listen to you on your radio phone in show. Missed it. Glad to hear you again. So there we go. Have you ever played rugby? Yes, I have. Tight head prop. Loving the Scotty McClure. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. The Portonians. We love the Portonians. Hello from Dumbarton, says Gavin. What's going on here? You're live in Scotty's Fun In. Who's that? Hello, Chatterbirds. Martin. Martin Lala, how are you? How are you? Question. Post a video you posted that. You were quite funny on that. That you have a little brain size. <laughs> Wh which was it? Oh, yes, uh, singing. No, that's actually me singing. Some people looking at it would think. He's got a sound and he's doing... That was me saying, what happened, Martin? I was having a cup of tea at breakfast. And uh -huh. um, I, I, this was some time ago, actually. And uh, I, I sang a wee song to myself and I thought, wow, that's sounding low. So I tried it to see how low I could go uh, with the, the bass singing. So I just uh -huh. sang when I needed a neighbor, were you there? Nice. So that, that's that's what's going on there. And I've just posted a message to world leaders on TikTok nice. and, and on YouTube. So everybody should get that. And I hope everybody watching on YouTube has subscribed. And I hope everybody watching on TikTok has either followed us or shared or liked or phoned in. And um, I'm still watching all the high series, series I told you last night, and um, I'm watching them every day now, so I'm waiting on the next set being uploaded. So, uh, used to watch that. Fantastic. Yes, I have, but I'm way, way, way behind you. I know I am. Um, today, this morning, I woke up and had a massive mind game this morning, so I'm feeling a lot better now because I had a long rest. Right. So, right. You're better with, yeah, you're better to get a good bit of sleep, Martin. Yeah, but I am okay now. Um, I came back. Um, I came back um, this morning after being a trip to Args, and I came back and my head jumped and buzzing. But it's a lot better now because I took part of I took part of season all. Right, as well, and, right. And I'm and, and I'm still drinking my fluids as well. So. And is that what the doctor recommends? That is what Emma read. That is that is what Emma told me to take. So, right, and, uh, right. Yes. Well, you you look after yourself. You you need yeah, yeah. you need to be strong and well. So I used to watch an on that, yeah? Yes, yes, absolutely loving it. I don't know what Mina's at, though, you know what I mean? Pleading not guilty. Uh, Ta torturing her know, sister. Is there any more news in the, is there any more news in the UK? Yeah, is it still the same? Uh, well, no, I mean, justice going on, but apparently it's not going terribly well for Russia. 
and I think they need to they need a plan to get back out of it and never mind saving face the way to save face would be to say look here's what we're going to do and get talking do you know what I mean <laughs> Um, are just that you need to continue wearing the masks now, just now as well. Yes, um, yes, or to wear the masks uh, well on till the next time. Um, she, um, the same like, the same towards the end of April now, the same Well, they're uh, saying that it would be quite nice if they could start to give us a date, but I suppose if they feel that there's there's increases in uh, in some of the, the variations, you know. There's a lot of cases down at Kilmarnock, that's down in Ayrshire. Yes. There are cases out there, just under over, over 18,000 cases. Oh, my goodness. So, well, well, we'll we'll keep on with the masks anyway, I think, you know. Well, and until, until we can eventually get back to formality and um, the boat down the boat down at Drossen is moving to trim soon as well because they're doing a lot down in the new pier. Oh my goodness, amazing. It's quite a place our you know, used to be very big on shipbuilding. Uh yeah. Yes. Fantastic. It's a lovely part of the world that, especially in a day like today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Martin, a joy speaking to you, and we will catch up soon. Yes, I'll um, phone in um, again next Saturday, or if you phone up again this week, I'll do this weekend. Pop, pop, pop up, up for a wee chat in the week. Lovely, Martin. Love to you and Emma. Love you too, Lala. And thank you, too, Lala. See you now. Thank you, know That's our Martin. What a guy. Right now, we've got lots and lots of chat from you. Who have we got? Uh, did the McClure enthusiast who called in to mention tomorrow's first day of your life? We did that one. Susan says, Susan, good to know. Happy to see you. Ban Karim says, Billy. Dear, oh dear. Karim is excellent, Billy. Superb call. Beautiful day today. Susan, did you do anything nice? I didn't, says Susan. Oh, so there we are. So they're having a good old chat. Uh, my partner works in Berlin, says Susan. Proud to be a Hibby as Hibs Charity has secured 48. I'm trying to see that. I can't see that for the messages. There we are. It's changing something else. There's a wee sign over it. I'll see if I can read that as it scrolls up. So there we are. Lots of lovely chat from you on the TikTok here. Scottish water. I have Scottish water. Dinky do. Mm. Now, guys, lots and lots of new TikTok videos. Get following me as soon as you possibly can and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We're in the middle of the internet phone-in. You'll not get the number on the TikTok, but you'll get it on the YouTube channel, Scotty McClue, the internet phone-in. Get on to that as soon as you possibly can. Independence would be good one day, but not now, especially with the SNP in charge. So hippity hoppity, are you saying that you don't feel that the SNP are the party to take us to independence? Is that what you're saying? We must sustain peace between England and Scotland. Well, we do that anyway, Joey. I mean, the, you know, the English people are probably as keen to get away from Westminster as the Scots are. It's just the Southerners that tend to go for the same thing all the time. Ah, there's a lot of rogues in Tinnabruch. Ah, JD, there's a lot of lovely people in Tinnabruch as well. I say to you, the house on the hill. Uh, that's what it's all about. I say, did you do to Scotland? I'm on way back from London, Scotty. Says Joey, excellent, Joey. You're watching on the train. Love your content and your political views, Scooby Doo. I thank you very much, and did you do to you? I say. You can still have freedom, Scottish water. My daughter's raised a hundred for Ukrainians. What's the best place to give the money to, Scotty? I don't know, Joey. Hang on to it just now until you get something that you know is 100% trustworthy and reliable and the money will get to the right place. It might even be better to give it to... Um, some some of the charities for Ukrainians when they arrive in Scotland. There's a thought. Can I have one of your badges, like the one on your bonnet? The one on the bonnet. Let's see if we can get this sorted. 
I can't see how to do my mirror. Uh, now, it used to pop up and say I could mirror it. You'll not be able to read that. Can you read that, guys, or is it backwards? That's what we need to find out. I'm just trying to see where the settings are for this. Hold on. There's admin settings. That's fantastic. So it's not there. So I don't know what they've done with it. It used to say this will uh, put your mirroring off and then you could read the badge. Can you read that one? Or is it upside down? Is it inside out? There's the badge. Can you read that, guys? Scotty McLean, Dinky Doo. I tell you, uh, that's what it's about there anyway. We shall find out what's happened to that. Solar power is popping about every other house. Yeah, but we need a lot of sunshine to power yourself up on the old solar power. Accent sometimes very hard to understand. Which one's Leslie? There we are. Uh, hi from Sweden, from Svenska. Lovely to have you with us. I love you, Scotty. I thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, Martin, you're as loud as heck. Oh, how loud was heck? I wonder how interesting is that. Martin is calling from a submarine. Encourage your viewers to share the live. Yes, they are doing. Follow us as soon as you can. Lovely to have you with us, Christopher and Dinky Doo. I blasted myself uh, in the back of the neck and it's stiff advice. Blasted? How do you mean blasted yourself? I fainted and nearly choked, uh, says Freddy. Freddy. You're sounding a bit strange. I'm just wondering if you might be on the wrong live. This is one for intelligent people, and it looks like you're struggling. So there we are. I think, shall we get rid of Freddy, guys? Have a look. I remember you from Scott FM many moons ago. Yes, Jimmy. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour ever. Tremendous stuff. Get to the telephones, guys, and let's hear from you as soon as you possibly can. I'll just check the lines are open. Yep, all is well there. And you can give us a call. Uh, dinky do. Shout out to my mate, Eric. He's a pure Scotsman. Uh, can I get a shout out? Of course you can. Everybody can get a shout out on here. Dinky do. We're live on the TikTok just for you. And we're already, can you believe this, 28 minutes into the show. 1,300 likes. How lovely is that, Dinky Doo? Hi, boy. Hi, Dinky Doo, boy. There we are. Thanks for sharing and thanks for following. Guys, there's lots and lots of superb TikTok videos for you, lots of YouTube videos. If you're watching on YouTube, get subscribing. If you're watching on Facebook, welcome. If you're watching on LinkedIn, a very warm welcome to you. There we are. Aha. Any room for an Englishman? Mr. Martin, there's room for everyone on here. Uh, proud to be a hippie. Oh, so there we are. Fantastic. Uh, Hibs have secured 48 kids arriving from Ukraine to arrive in Scotland on Monday. Excellent stuff. Uh, who else have we got here? A lot of chat between you there. Uh, people are not happy. Oh, yes, because uh, cause, uh, Susan's moving away. So there you are. Could you put on the Glen Gary, says Martin. We might put the Glen Gary on later. Martin, if I can find it. There we are. Uh, who have we got here? Jerry might be a bit later. Ah, yes, indeed. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do from Balloch, says Stephen. Stephen, we love you in Balloch, a fine part of the world. From the United States of Alva. Alva out in the hill foots there. Dinky do to every single one of you. I do like Alva, and of course, that wonderful, wonderful bagpipe tune, The Hills of Alva. Guys, to your telephones as soon as you can. Let's hear from you. And a big dinky do to every single one of you. The telephone number across the bottom of your screens there. It should be on, uh, should be on YouTube as well. Uh, good evening, Sir Scotty, and on Facebook and on LinkedIn. You won't get it on TikTok because that's a slightly different feed. Uh, good evening, Sir Scotty, says the wonderful Geodog. Geodog, I can't thank you enough for all your wonderful information about my father and the paras. How very interesting is that? And I was thinking the C-130 is, um, 
the Hercules. So there we are. So did that replace the Dakota as the big drop plane? Because you could walk out the back of it. So I would imagine you would avoid a lot of prop wash. Am I right or am I am I right? That's what I'm saying. Thanks, Scotty. Not at all, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And Dickie Doo Balach would be looking outstanding today. I've got an old picture of Balach. And the little harbour at the end of the loch was just stuffed with little boats. Uh, good evening, Sir Scotty, says our wonderful geodog in South Africa. There we are. Uh, hello, Sir Scotty. How are you? Freddie, how lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you, I say to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Get sharing. Good evening, Scotty. Random Scottish man. Good evening to you. Wonderful to have so much feedback. Now, what are you thinking about everything that's going on in the world? Remember, there's a lot of new videos on the uh, on the YouTube and the TikTok for your education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. Never miss a second of Scotty McClue, or you miss a moment of life. Indeed, sir, both the C-130 and C-160 are the Hercules. Now, dear dog, I was surprised. <coughs> Am I right in thinking the Hercules is around 50 years old now, maybe even a tiny bit more. So it's been around a good long time. And I remember talking to a very senior man in the RAF and saying I'd been very worried. I saw Hercules and it was trailing a bit of black smoke. And he said to me, no, don't worry. He said, it'll be all right. He said, it's probably refueled in America. And the fuel sometimes is a little bit dirtier and produces a little more Black smoke. The Hercules pretty much became the Free West workhorse. Yes, Geodog, absolutely. Have you jumped from the Hercs? I'd be very interested in finding out. Evening, sir, Dinky Doo. I can remember a lovely story about a journalist that had uh, uh, said that he wasn't sure how maneuverable the Hercules was. So the pilots very kindly took him up. And I think, um, I hope nobody's having a late plate of wheat bangs, but I think when he put his oxygen mask on, they danced her about the skies and his lunch came out at 360 degrees. <laughs> Change of scenery today, says the wonderful Drewski in North America, tuning in from the United States instead of Canada. Wow, Drewski, fantastic. The Herc has been around since the middle 60s, yep. Yep. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, I said 50 years, didn't I? So there you are. So the middle 60s are, uh, are uh, 60 years. Yes, indeed. 1962 is 60 years. It's amazing, isn't it? So she's certainly well over 50, I would say. Now, who have we got here? You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Somebody's struggling to work the telephone. Not to worry. I've no doubt they'll phone back if they're worthy. How are you today, Scotty? Random Scottish man. We are incredibly amazing today. This is such a wonderful program tonight. I'm chuffed to bits with the responses we're getting. So there we have it. Here we are. Let's see who this is. Hello, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Uh, hello. Hello. Is that Scottie's phone in? Scottie's phone in. Who's that? Christine. Christine. Yes. Yes. Lovely to hear you, Christine. When I heard you singing this morning, I was wondering, was there any reason you gave us a song this morning? Well, I just thought you might like it if I needed a neighbour where you're there. Yes. Yes, and um, I found out that I could manage a bit of basso profundo. Yes, I've never heard of that. Um, is there any history to that music you were singing? Uh, yes, there is. That was actually a spiritual when I needed a neighbor, where are you there? It's a spiritual. And um, yes, and uh, uh, 
uh, and the creed and the color and the the race won't matter if you're there so it's it's for people from all backgrounds and all races creeds and colors right um who's your favorite um scottish performer kenneth mckellar i was thinking of him what about andy stewart andy loved andy stewart used to work with andy and did you yes at Grampian Television in Aberdeen. Andy would come and help us out at New Year. Brilliant. And um, how long were you at Grampian Television? Oh, oh just, just about a year. And then I came down to Border Television in Carlisle and then up to Scottish Television. And I was with these companies for about five years. Oh, I thought you'd always been on the, the radio. The radio. In the 80s, were you doing a program on the Saturday night? Yes. Where you used to give us a bit of moral guidance. Yes. Yes, we used to do that. Scotty McClue's Nightline. Nightline. <laughs> you were giving some of us a bit of grief. Oh, you? I gave some of you a right good telling off if you'd been naughty. Thank you, dude, to that. Christine, it's lovely to hear you. This is fantastic and well done. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's wonderful. The Basso Profundo is, of course, musical language Italian for profound bass singing. Okay. Uh, that was a surprise this morning. There you are. Uh, Did it make uh, you uh, smile? Yes, it did. But ah. to my eyes. Yes. <laughs> I love to listen to this part, Scotty, because um, I didn't um, realize you picked up the phone to me. Oh, well, no bother. No, it was that was the first one. Don't, don't worry about that. And uh, yes. this has been a lovely, lovely call. You're sounding great. Thank you. Are you still uh, speaking to Alec Belfield? Yes, yes, I still hear from Alex. He's doing very, very well. They have joined his other channel. Yes, he's... I used he's, to watch him on the YouTube. The YouTube. Well, I think he had to. I think he was getting a tough time because he likes to tell the truth. It can be a wee bit tough on people, I feel, but that's up to him, you know. Yes. Um, we've, we've all got to survive applause or derision on our merits. Yes, that's right. So, thanks for speaking to me, Scotty. Um, Christine, it's been a, a, the privilege has been mine, my dear, and it's lovely to hear you. Hey, and we'll catch up soon. And there's lots of lovely wee videos. And if you scroll down, you'll see me reading the news for ITV. Oh, that'll be good. Yes. And you'll get that on YouTube or you'll get it on the TikTok. Right. I'll be listening to that then. Hey, a dinky-doo. dinky-doo to you. And lots of love to you. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. Night-night. Thank you, do la. There we are. That's our Christine. That was amazing. Well done, Hart, for coming through. I think you're a lovely, lovely man, Scotty. By the way, how's Dave? Hashtag float high. Thoughts on the rugby today? I had to look away. As Scotland were getting too much of a tanking. Indeed, sir, I jumped from the DC 47 and Herc C130 and C160, both side door and tailgate. Now, tailgate, Geo Dog. Do you lose your prop wash or is there still a little bit of vortex? How good am I? Vive la France, says JD. Scotty, remember Dave from Michael Stagdew in Liverpool. Absolute blast. Here we got here. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David. Yes, we've got a weird David Dickey, too. I loved yeah. hearing Christine there. That was a joy. You see, I think it's very interesting because 
You can just be minding your own business on the internet uh, and then something uh, interesting happens. This is it, you know what I mean, son, you know. I you know? You know. Oh, and people <laughs> say to me, they say if it's a kind of, you know, they go, ah, why do you keep doing it? Why do you keep, I say, I do it because I love uh, the people. Of course. She reminds me of, I think, Anna from, is it Dundee? Oh, Anna, yes. No, Anna was from Glasgow. And wait till I tell you this. Anna was a great friend of Jack Mulroy and Ricky oh, Fulton. Francie and Josie. And Anna, Anna used to be a host at Scottish television. And she would look after people. And, yes. Sorry, what was that? Yes, they were neighbours. She, she was very friendly uh, oh, with a lovely lady oh, called Kate Matheson. And Kate oh, Matheson oh, used to work at Scottish Television as an oh, announcer and newscaster. And Kate yes, was yes. married to Ricky Fulton. Oh, amazing. amazing. Right? And Anna was Anna was great pals with them uh, out at the oh, West End there. And then um, Jack and Mary Lee. Mary Lee... Jack's uh, widow passed away yesterday at a hundred. Oh, oh my goodness, right. Yes. And Anna said oh, she was goodness. just the same. She had her lovely dresses and her makeup on and everything. Oh, wow. Well, 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 so, so you know, Ricky's uh, passed away. Jack's passed away. Anna's uh, passed away. And oh, um, uh, Kate passed away. And then that was Mary yesterday. At a hundred. Oh, uh, as I said to you before, I got to the Dalnotter Cemetery over Clyde Bank to see uh, his grave, you know? Uh, yeah, oh, uh, Ricky Fulton? Yes. Yes, Fulton, yes. yes. I mean, I, I wasn't yes. able to go to his funeral, but it was absolutely packed. And he got an escort from uh, the Strathclyde Police Motorcycle Division. He was a legend, but also, if you remember, they loved his super cop. Remember, he used to get off the bike? And his Hogmanay show, Scotch and Rye. And he would get off the bike and flick the, the goggles, and they'd shoot off the helmet. And then he would go, right, Sterling, out the car. And do you remember? Do you remember there was a guest appearance by Mark McManus, Taggart? And Ricky, Ricky was trying to say, "So what's your name?" And he goes, "He goes Taggart." He goes Taggart. Okay. And what's your first name? He goes Inspector. And he goes, "Oh, that's a good one." <coughs> That's right. I remember all that. Uh huh. It was very, and Mark McManus was a very, very nice man. I used to meet him at Scottish Television. And he always said hello, hello. I mean, uh, he was also another legend. I mean, yeah. he keeps his finger tied up. And then when Mark died, um, Alex Norton, who's a superb actor, took yeah. over the role. As we know, Alex Norton's been that, um, two doors down. Two doors down. Very, very talented actor, Alex. He's a great, I love that show, that two doors down. Oh, that's a stream. Well, it's so well. It's like it, isn't it? Neighbors, they go, no, no, come on now, you can't you say that. What a laugh! Well, you get that, don't you? New Year's a funny one in 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 Glasgow because people get dressed up and come in and sit and talk about a nonsense in your house. Yes, we all need that nonsense. You know, they just they just talk nonsense. And then somebody produces the twiglets and all that, you know? That's the twiglets. I 
Oh, the aunties came in with trackers and shortbread. The shortbread and cheesy balls. And, you know, and, and all the aunties came in and all his friends, but they're all dead now. It's quite sad. I know it is. It's such a shame. And and also, strangers came into your house and sang a song and got a dram. Yes, yes. You see, so somebody would go later, they would go, oh, see that oh. wee man last night. He, uh, was it Jimmy's name? He was that funny. Oh. And they would go, I, I don't know who he was, actually. So I thought he was with you. You go, no, no, no. No, he came in alongside us. <laughs> That's right, they did. And then they always went really loud at the last note. La! And I don't know why they just went for the last note. I know. Life moves on, Davy. Life moves on, but it was a different way of life. It certainly was. What about this one? Uh, Celtic or Rangers, says a guy. I mean, why do these people ask that? You know what I mean? Uh, Dean from Alabama. I think you do to you. I'm so... Hi, right now, says uh, Dean. Right. Dean is in Alabama watching us right now. There you go. So, okay, Alabama, that's America, yeah. Yeah, Alabama, yeah, I've come from Alabama yeah. with my banjo on my knee. Why don't they phone you in from America? Well, I think there's maybe, I think maybe uh, the international call might be too dear. No, I think you didn't see that before. You and you see, I think the problem is I've gone for a Glasgow number. Uh, you know, I suppose I could also have an American number. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, That's wonderful. And then we could get everybody in from the States. I mean, we will get there, Davy. We will develop this over the years. Oh, yeah, because yeah, remember, yeah, I'm yeah. doing this on my Todd on a shoestring, you know. Yeah, well, Scotty, as you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You're doing your best. You know? We're doing our best and we're having some great chats with some lovely people. There's Liz going, hi, Dinky Do, top of the evening, Scotty. Are you talking to a Scottish Davros or is it a bad line? All right, he thinks a bad line. A bad line? I don't think it's a bad line at all. I think it's brilliant. There's Liz going, love your teeth, Dinky Do. How very weird. Anyway, but no, no, it takes all types, Davy. You know, you'll get, I was getting criticism the other day for being the world's most humble man. And the guy said, even calling yourself that's a bit arrogant. I said, how can it be? Because oh, I, I wouldn't like anybody to think I was blowing any trumpets, you know. Thank you, Liz. You're very, very kind to me. No, my dear man, it's lovely to hear you. How's John doing? Is he okay? John's fine. Good. Drink, right. Right? But tell him we're asking for him and you'll have it down to fine art. Yeah, well, do son, always do I be the choosers. You know, <laughs> absolutely, that's the stuff, eh? Yeah. Hey, and did you do? <laughs> Thank you, Thank you too, La La. Love you lots. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> that's your Davy. Right, there he goes. Oh, wonderful stuff. Now, who have we got here? There's Kirsty's joined us. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kirsty. How lovely. To have you with us and a big dinky do. We're a bit behind here. Nightlife was a great many good laughs and straight to the point was our Scotty. Happy days. The nightline, Lily, absolutely. You're quite right. Um, who have we got here? Good night, Scotty and Kareem and Suzanne. There's Susan away. I'm not sure if the older people go away a wee bit sharp. Uh, JD says, do you remember Peggy O'Keefe? Used to do a musical interlude on the STV news program. I remember Peggy very, very well indeed. She was an outstanding pianist. And I think she did a lot of work for the BBC as well. Am I right? There we are, guys. There's lots of new videos on the YouTube channel. Scotty McClue, the internet phone in. Please get subscribing. Very, very important. Très important. So there we are. Yes, I remember Peggy. Uh, very well indeed. Fantastic stuff. Some great. We had great stars coming out of the BBC 
in Scotland. Tremendous, tremendous stuff. Now then, uh, who else have we got here? Uh, a wee bit of vortex, but mainly, ah, now this is Geodog in South Africa. This man jumps out of aircraft. And my father, as you know, you'll see it on the TikToks and the YouTubes, was a paratrooper. And I found out last week, I've always had this photograph taken on the 10th of May, 1945 at Sola Airfield, at the airport now for Stavanger in, uh, in uh, Norway. And I found out last week as I was posting the photo that they'd secured the airfield the day before. Incredible. Who have we got here? You're live on Scottish phone in, who's that? It's me, myself, and I, the sober man. The sober enough to heed you. No pash tonight, son. No, no. How, how are you getting on? on? No, come on. I forgot to go to the shops. You forgot to go to the shops for booze? Aye. Now, listen to this. Before you go on, I was just reading Geodog's message there. A wee bit of vortex, but mostly a smooth exit as the herc can feather its props. So when you're jumping out of the Hercules, the pilots feather the props, let them just uh, turn over very slowly, and um, boom, out go the boys out the back of the herc. Well, there you go. Anyway, Scotty, listen, I'm writing a book, Scotty, but I'm having trouble with the ending. Right, well, don't tell us the ending, otherwise folk will know by it. Well, I'll tell you what the title is, you know. Go on, if you give us the title, I'll give you an ending. Right, the title's called The Moon That Fell to Earth. The Moon That Fell to Earth. Yes. Right, well, I think what we do is we find out in the end that it was about the Lunar Men. Well, they will do because you find out that it was actually the man on Earth is the man on the moon. And it was a reflection of himself. It, no, it doesn't fall off the moon. It's a reflection of himself. I don't know why they have the man on the moon, though, because I think the moon is female. I think you talk about the lady moon. I can't hear you. You must be talking off mic. No, no, I'm still here, Scotty. That's oh, better. Yeah. That's a bit better. So I think you want to look at that. The moon who oh, fell yeah. to earth. The moon that fell to earth. The moon that fell to earth. Absolutely. Well, I think the moon brings so much joy. Nobody dies. And uh, the moon has so much joy and is so mystical that I think the stacks and stacks of material there. Aye. Anyway, listen to this. Stacks story. of it, Numpty Head. You're spoiled Aye. for choice. And with Aye. your with your creative mind, it will be Aye. fast. It will be a bestseller. Absolutely. Now listen, Kim, well, Scott, I'm thinking about taking a drive over to Barra for the afternoon. Will a drive have? to Barra? You can't take a drive to Barra, son. It's an outer island. Aye, got barrels in the outer Hebrides. Well, we'll have to do something about it if I want to come out. Yes, in. yes, it's in the outer Hebrides. Can we not build a bridge? I'm trying to think where in the outer Hebrides there is an actual, um, there's, a, there's a linking, the Churchill Barrier Aye. links islands, but I'm trying to think, I don't think that's not Banner, no. No, Barra's out there. You'd need to go into Castle Bay where there's Kishmul's Castle, the McNeil's of Barra. Yes, it's an outer island. You need to get the boat from Oban or you might be able to get it from Malig. I've been to Malig before. Yes. In the Kyle of Loch The Kyle of Loch Alsh, yes. It did. So there. Or you could fly to Barra if you were feeling flush. Well, I was thinking about taking a drive out, No, no, no. No, your only experience of Barra's shoving one. <laughs> now, listen, I received a 
Oh, I no! Stop your nonsense! <laughs> Love to hear, as always, a joy to hear you. Now, you get writing, my boy. Yes. You know, you know um, some of the streets in Edinburgh are now 20 mile an hour speed limit. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, the cyclists are now overtaking the cars. What do you oh. think of that? I have no time for all this regulation. You see, I was brought up you could actually park on Princess Street. You could park on Princess Street. You could park on George Street. All these things. There were no trams. There were just superb buses. You know. In fact, I think did Edinburgh no have trolley buses up until the fifties? No, Scotty. I don't care if there were trolley buses. I thought there were electric trams. Oh, were the trams? There were trams in Edinburgh in the in up until the fifties. Is that right? I don't care. I used to come down the Lothian Road, I think. I'm sure I've got a picture of an Edinburgh tram. Anyway, um, right, listen, Scotty, before I go, I have to tell you, you need to forgive me, because last week I sinned. Oh, what did you do last week? I missed the whole show. Oh, for goodness sake, numpty. What's the point in me sitting here if you're no watching? I can, well, that's what can. I mean, And we, me. more importantly, we missed you. Oh, of course you've got to. Forgiveness is the big way to go. But listen, oh, don't do it again. Right. And the other thing I must right. say is you'll get it on YouTube and you'll get 10 minutes of it on the TikTok. Aye, but Scott, it's all about finding the time. Ah, oh, you've got plenty of time. When you're writing, you could be listening to Scotty McClue. I've said Aye, this for years. People should Aye. put on the YouTube channel and just go away and do their household things and listen. They don't have to watch me. I wouldn't recommend hoovering because you wouldn't hear the program because of the hoover. Well, you don't do as much hoovering as you do havering. Absolutely. <laughs> Dinky well, do. Now and stop talking nonsense. Stop talking nonsense, Numpty. He'd stick out your tongue and say ta ta. Ta ta. Ta ta. There's our Numpty Heed. That's it. That's what it's all about, guys. We can still take a quick call. There we are. Who have we got here? That's David, cost of living is mental. Gordon and Oliver are saying hello, dinky do. Hi, says David, dinky do, David. There we are. Now, um, Suzanne says, we will, Susan. Forget about everyone else. You keep doing your thing. Quite right. Uh, David saying hi. Lovely Gordon Robertson. Drive to Barra. I know what's he at. Uh, I can see thick stoor on top of the picture frames. Gordon. You mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. Yes, not everybody's life is all about Stuart. There's a causeway that connects it, I think, says Magnus. Yeah, but not Barra. It doesn't connect. The, are you talking about the Churchill causeway of Churchill barriers? Were they? No, the Churchill barriers were Scapa Flow, were they not? What's a trolley bus? Suzanne, a trolley bus used to have um, a pantograph connectors on the top, a bit like an electric train. And there were lines and they were electric. They ran off a power supply, the trolley buses. Yes, indeed. Glasgow had them at one point after the trams, I'm pretty sure. There were trams in Edinburgh up till the 50s, but Edinburgh never had trolley buses. Ah, right. You're sure about that, Gordon? Was that the trams then? Stay a little while longer, an hour's not enough. There's the lovely Susan Forrest down in Lancashire. Susan, many years a contributor to the program. Excellent and lovely to hear from you. Uh, gosh, we're nearly out of time. I'm going to have to go. Uh, so there we go. Lots of lovely messages. Uh, thank you very much. They all lived happily ever after. Catch a wee jam session with the Vattersea boys. Yes. All right, Scotty, what's your opinion on vegetable oil in a diesel? Well, that your car smells of chips, but it's very good. I'm going to have to dash, guys. We're out of time, dinky do. There we are. Oh, oh, there's our beautiful, our beautiful TikTokers have had to dash off, and uh, our beautiful, beautiful Facebookers and YouTubers and LinkedIners 
are still with us. Guys, thank you for watching tonight. It's been an outstanding show. All of it due to your good selves. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Ba-ba. -ta.